Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope for Wednesday of the fifth week of Easter. I hope you enjoyed Father Jude McPeak the last couple of days. I am recording from a different location today, here in my music studio at the Priory, because our house is in strict quarantine for the next 14 days. Unfortunately, one of our members, Father Brian, is in the hospital with COVID-19, and one of our lay employees, Rosa, also has it and is at home. I ask you to pray for them, please. Our community in Denver, Colorado at St. Dominic Priory also has been impacted seriously by the virus. Of the eight member community, six of them have come down with it. No one is hospitalized and after over a week of quarantine, they are in varying degrees of recovery. Please keep all of us in your prayers as we continue to keep you in our prayers. Because of the virus and because of our quarantine, my community is uh, looking after each other. We're doing all the cooking, which isn't too bad. We're doing all the cleaning, which isn't too good. But we're managing and we're caring for one another. And that pretty much is what the Gospel of John is all about today on the fifth week of Easter where Jesus says to us the very familiar words, I am the vine, you are the branches. The one who remains in me will bear much fruit. At the end of that gospel, he reinforces that teaching, and he says, by this is God glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. I've always been a preacher of acting on what we pray. It's not enough just to pray. Beyond prayers, then we become what we pray ourselves in living out what we have prayed about. Today, the word of hope for us is that God believes in us so much so as to entrust the coming of the kingdom of God, the fulfillment of the kingdom, the fulfillment of grace among us, to let a lot of that depend upon us and our willingness to look after one another. We see it happening all around us. We see the care for one another that's going on during these days of pandemic. We see the care publicly and we see the care in our homes, between ourselves, amongst our families. We are living the hope that we're praying about. Spend some time, if you will, meditating on that today, thanking God for it, realizing that you have been chosen to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, that you are bearing fruit, that you are giving glory to God, and let the great commission that we share be a source of hope for you throughout this day. God bless you.